All right. A little poem for the uh, BAFL. Twas the night before the championship when all through the house, not a coach was stirring, not even a mouse. The trophy was hung on the mantle with care, awaiting my third victory, which would soon be there. Chob and Bob were nestled together in their bed, while dreaming of winning the Bob Bowl danced in their head. Michelle and her nighty, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a victory lap. When what to my wondering I should appear but a Capistrano crime team that Toby will fear. With a Mexican coach so lively drinking wine, I know in a moment it must be the Capistrano crime. More rapid than eagles, his players they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Romo, now Bryant, now Forte and Brandon, on Denver, on Ellis, on Hushka and Witten. To the top of the division, every other team took a fall. Now crush away, crush away, crush them all. A slow start to the season, losing game after game. The winning streak began, putting others to shame. So up to the top of the league we flew. Yet another victory, and little old Chob felt blue. A wink of Romo's eye and a twist of Brian's head soon led me to know I had nothing to dread. Hand off to Forte, touchdown for Ellis. Soon another championship. Oh, Jason, don't be jealous. The muffins have no chance. It really doesn't matter. Champion's breakfast is on me. How about some pancake batter? Seven in a row, the crime continues to dominate. Toby can only watch as his team begins to vomit. Sunday night magic, grab your favorite dinner. The celebration begins while Hushka kicks the game winner. But I once more exclaim and repeat one last time, Merry Christmas to all and to all a go crime. Sleep tight. I'm out of here.